Well, hello guys, and welcome back to our second video in M-Pesa Laravel tutorial. Today, I promised you that we we're going to do the UI, right? So I'll go back to my welcome.php. Actually, I'll close these ones because we don't need them right now. Lots of close. Uh, sorry, lots of close these. And uh, I want us to create at least one card today, uh, or two cards. Let's actually create the, the four cards quickly, right, on the same page. So we'll have I'll have my div which will be like a row, perfect. Inside this row, we'll have a uh, register URL. We, we'll, be have a, we'll have access token, because we'll just fetch it and again show it on our UI. Then we'll go to the next level. We have register URLs, because it's the next one. Then we'll have simulate. We'll have them, let's just have them here, and then I'll just duplicate the rest, right? So here we'll have our card. Um, instead of card, let's have our colon, and we'll have just it on SM, so just SM8. And uh, this will just be centered, so I'll just do MX Auto. And uh, we'll also need this row to have a margin top of like five. So it just, it's not up there because you don't have a menu or title, something like that. Then here we'll have a, our first card, so div.card. Then this card will have again div.card title, which is card header, right? Card header will have obtain access token or authentication and then after the header we'll also have the div card body and now here is where we'll have our logic and the first thing i want to do is just to have a button because we already have the consumer key and consumer secret in our env so we just need a button to request for those two so i'll just do a button and this button will just uh, request uh, access token then uh, it will be a button. Let me just give it a name. Uh, I mean a class. So class. Just have BTN, BTN Prime like that. And we let's reload this and see what we have right now. So I'll just go to my tutorial, and we have this kind of stuff. So we just need to have the same for register URL because after this is actually register URL. So I'll just go to after this. Just copy this one. I have because they just be the same so let me have another card here so div dot card this card should also have the, everything the same so div dot card header and here we'll have the title as register urls now I find some people having issues with what register url means I think this is an opportunity for me to explain so what happens is register URL is, I don't know whether I'll use just layman's language to explain, but for you to get responses from M-Pesa, you need to have given them the endpoints. You cannot change them real time, for especially for C2B. So you need to pre-submit them. So every time a payment is made, they'll just fetch the URL and then send the responses there. It's like having a PO box, right? Where you register it first and then all letters will just be going there which they'll assume it's reaching you okay so you have it in advance then that's where they'll be sending so that's why we call it register url so you like you're registering with them that is basically like everything you need to know when it comes to register urls so they'll just be sending all your responses there and you need to do them in advance if you again mess up your register urls if you register them and you realize this is not what i wanted you have to follow the official Safaricom way of communication. You have to write a letter or write an email to the API support. Tell them to delete the URLs for your app. So it's a bit long process. And um, yeah, so be careful when you'll be doing this on a live environment on an endpoint that you don't want to be used on live. So again, here we'll have a button. And this button will just be register URLs. And I'll also give it the same, same class. So we'll have class btn, btn primary is it primary here yeah. so because everything here is just looking the same uh, here I'll just add some margin top of five uh, because everything looks the same I'll just go ahead and copy this so that we can proceed with other things and we'll need here to do after register URLs we'll need to do to simulate transaction And here we just say simulate. Simulate needs also some input fields, so that's what we're going to work on. So do simulate payment. Let me just simulate payment. 
So here we just don't need a button, we also need a form, right? So we'll just do form and uh, action, we'll just define that one later because it's in the UI. Um, inside this, I'll also need to have my, my button inside here. So right here, perfect. Uh, here we need to have our first so div. This div should have a class of form control. Actually, it's form group like that. Then inside here, we'll have our label. This is for amount. Let me just call it amount. Then we'll have our input type number. Let's have type number. And the name should be amount. Do we need ID? Let's just also have it, no problem. Then we'll give it a class of form control like that. And we'll need again one for amount. I mean, for account, right? For account, you also need one for account. And account can be anything. So we'll just give it a text. Here we'll have account. And here we'll have account. So if we just stop it at that point first, let me just delete this. I'll just proceed with this off the screen. And I hope you won't find any offense in that. Yeah, probably in this form, for us not to have an issue with Laravel, we need to add our CSRF. So let me change this to Blade. So we need to have our CSRF there. And now if you go back and reload the screen, we have the three, we have the simulate transaction with amount and account. And then simulate, we have all those. Then we'll proceed with the others. So I'll just copy paste this field for simulate transaction for the other fields. So don't worry, again, we'll be going through it together. So so that we don't waste a lot of time in these tutorials, let me create now the controllers and then they've start, the next video will start now the actual coding, okay? So here I'll just do, uh, php artisan make controller and the control i want to do is the mpesa controller i'll just call it mpesa controller but i'll put it inside a subfolder called payments and then mpesa so i'll do payments then mpesa then i'll do mpesa controller like that so what will happen is if you have other payments solutions that you're also going to host like paypal and stuff like that you can have the controllers inside the same payments but instead of folder called paypal okay yeah so let's have that and come the uh the controller has been created so let's just check so we'll go back to our app we'll go to our http controller and then we'll have the folder payments inside that we have mpesa and you have our mpesa controller here so here that's where all the logic will take place we'll have our um, web endpoints and our api endpoints which will handle everything that we need but for now this is now like the end of this first class the next class we're going to start on actual coding i hope you subscribed i hope you uh you're following along and if you have any questions leave it in the comment uh, in the comment section so that i'll be also answering it towards or after we have done these tutorials but i'll also be trying also to answer on your comments um, if you have any questions in regard to what simulation is, probably I know this must be coming. So simulation is very simple. Is uh, The purpose of simulation is to emulate a person paying through his phone. Like you take your phone, go to M-Pesa, go to Lipana M-Pesa, go to buy goods, enter the, big, the, the buy goods number, enter the amount. Then if it's a pay bill, enter the account, then you pay. All that process is handled using the simulate endpoint, okay? That's why you're doing the simulation. So here you'll just be emulating real users paying through their phone from wherever they are, paying to you, paying to your till number or pay bill. So thank you for watching. I hope you have make uh, have made some things clear. So let's meet in the next video where we'll discuss more and what we'll do now the actual coding for uh, access token, register URLs, simulate transaction and everything else. So thank you for watching and let's meet in our next video. Ciao.